Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous and in today's video, we're going to test powder coat on an acrylic project. So let's get to it. So in the past we've done powder coat on wood, but like you said in the intro, we're going to be using it on acrylic. And we're going to use a design that we've done before, Daisy's face, and we're going to try to integrate a powder coating on top of that engraving on acrylic and see how that fares. We'll have to do a few adjustments in light burn just to make sure we have the right settings for the different colors of powder coat to just make it look nice. We're going to use our Montport 40 watt CO2 laser for this project because it does very well at engraving acrylic. Let's get to it. All right, so here's some of the leftover blue thin sheet of acrylic that we're gonna use for this project. And what we're gonna do is a series of daisy keychains, one using white powder coat and one using black powder coat. And we're gonna go ahead and use the heat gun method for kind of melting in that powder coat for this one. But a key difference here with how we're gonna do this one is we wanna leave this protective masking on. It's on both sides right now sort of, but we would need to make sure that the protective masking is covering our engraving because we're gonna to want to kind of cleanly get the powder coat in the grooves of the engraving. So let's get to the engraver. So here's our Daisy keychain project from a previous project. We'll go ahead and link in the description. And we're gonna use this one, but we also need to make a negative of this one so that the space engraved is the opposite so that we could fill with the other color of powder coat. And that will make sense here in a minute. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and copy this. So we'll just take this and C, Command V. And for this one, we're gonna go ahead and do some changes here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this outer edge. And if this outer edge clicked the entire thing, I would just kind of ungroup it. But for this outer edge, if we just delete this, you can see now it turns kind of the other, the other way. And for this one, it's going to engrave the black section, of course. And then we're gonna go ahead and fill it with black powder coat. And for this one, it's gonna engrave everything else you can see there and we're going to fill it with white powder coat and see what that looks like so we're going to go ahead and engrave both of these in the same job and then we'll get to powder coating Okay, so here they are. Okay, so here are our engravings and you can see they're obviously negative from each other. And for this one, we're gonna use our white powder coat. And then for this one, we're gonna use our black powder coat because of the way these colors would look melted in there. And we're gonna go ahead and use the heat gun method to melt our powder coat because we have found that we can get more consistent results using the heat gun Plus it's a way faster, way more controllable. So this is our preferred method, but obviously we could have just left these in the machine and put the powder coat layer down and then had the machine melt the powder coat into the grooves with the black, but we could not do that with the white. We've tested the white in the past and that doesn't work so well getting lasered, but the black one, it was okay. You don't need much for this. This is definitely a messy process. And the goal here is to kind of work the powder coat into this engraved area, kind of giving it a little bit of pressure in there so that it, it seats in there and then getting off as much of the excess as possible. And the reason we left the masking on top is so that when we melt this down with the heat gun, whatever sticks onto the masking is just gonna come off rather than if we took the masking off, it would actually stick to the acrylic and we don't want that. Low setting. Mm -hmm. 
So powder coat has a tendency to shrink as it melts. Obviously it's, you know, in form of a powder and there's air in there. And you can see that we could actually put another layer here on top to kind of help cover or recover some of the areas that have kind of bubbled a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and use our excess here and just stick it right on top, scrape it off and do it again. All right, and same thing, we're gonna go ahead and do a second layer because I can see some of the black has kind of melted together, leaving or exposing some of the blue underneath. I'm just gonna use some of our excess here and then recoat that. Okay, so here are our two keychains, black and white, and we're gonna go ahead and peel off the masking and see if we got decent results. In hindsight, we probably should have made this a little bit bigger so it would be easier to take this masking off. Because right now it's so thin, it's not really coming up nicely. Not bad. And that turned out really good too. I think the results turned out pretty cool and acrylic definitely works with this technique. Yeah, for sure. Now, I was afraid at first that applying the heat with the heat gun would soften the acrylic or melt the acrylic in a way, but it simply doesn't get to that level of heat where it's going to soften the acrylic before it melts the powder coat. So it actually, we had pretty great results and the acrylic comes pre-masked, so that's helpful too. And if you want any Montport laser, don't forget to use our code ANONYMOUS10 for 10% off. You get 10% off any Montport machine on the Montport website. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications to get reminded every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.